Meter on Supfist Justin paves the way to colonizing Mars and beyond. With the robot Roland Justin, we test how astronauts can command robotic co-workers using supervised autonomy. We performed experiments with ESA and NASA astronauts aboard the ISS in August 2017, in March 2018, and finally in August 2018. We are the crew on orbit around Mars and we send a rover down there as the first scout to see how the conditions are like, uh, whether it's safe, what the atmospheric parameters are. And uh, so we command that rover, but uh, the difference to how rovers were commanded in the past is that this rover actually knows to navigate uh, by himself. So I don't have to tell him every uh, millimeter to move in which direction or what to do exactly, but I just give him high-level commands like check out this, uh, this uh, solar panel or uh, pick up this rock, and he will actually do that. The space-to-ground link to the ISS goes through geostationary communication satellites to NASA in the US and then on to Germany to command the robot Justin. This has a round-trip latency of about 800 milliseconds, but guarantees longer coverage than communicating directly with the ISS. Even if the connection is broken, the supervised autonomy framework ensures the robot remains in a safe state. Justin can handle any object on the Solex Proving Ground, the DLR's Mars analog environment, thanks to his knowledge management systems. Objects highlighted in the intuitive tablet interface give a list of relevant commands to the astronauts. Each command refers to one particular goal state, encoded in an action template. Action templates interpret abstract commands in context. This transforms Justin from a mere tool into an intelligent co-worker. Ranging from inspection tasks, over maintenance tasks, to setting up new assets, and even handling emergencies, we increased task complexity over the three experiment sessions. The first experiment in August 2017 with the astronaut Paolo Nespoli was to validate the concept of supervised autonomy from a satellite to the planet's surface. Paolo Nespoli was also able to train his crewmates, Randy Bresnik and Jack Fisher, to command Justin as a co-worker to perform our first maintenance tasks. In the second experiment in March 2018, more complex tasks were attempted by the astronaut Scott Tingle. These tasks were not only succeed or fail, but we could measure how well Justin performed the task. Tasks included adjusting a solar panel and cleaning it of Martian dust. In the third experiment, the astronaut Alexander Gerst performed the most complex space-to-ground telerobotics tasks yet. These also included assembly tasks and a complex emergency scenario. From all experiments, we collected quantitative data as well as feedback from the astronauts. The three ISS crew sessions make us confident that our methods will contribute to the colonization of Mars, but also provide solutions to societal challenges on Earth. I think it's a glimpse into the future of uh, having a robot to be able to do those things. Uh, it's going to be fantastic. This really brings robotics to a new level, absolutely, and this will increase our capabilities to work in exploration and uh, in many, many applications on Earth. So I want to say thanks, congratulations, and uh, my big respect.